I think one of the most difficult times in my life was after having surgery and then like cutting out, you know, my intestines yeah. and tying them back together. One of the most difficult things I've been through was the recovery process because I've never been in a state where I wasn't able to move or exercise and me. And I'm sure a lot of people out there, we find happiness through movement, whether it's mm -hmm. dance, running, sports, exercise, you have to move in some sort. So that the, that first month of not being able to move and first few months of not being able to exercise, I'm sure we can agree how difficult that is for you mentally. Yeah. So I was very fortunate because like, again, it's one of those things that I didn't want to say no to like eh, everyone's saying like oh you have to take a month off like you have to let these injuries heal and I'm just looking for one person to tell me opposite so after going to a bunch of doctors I found this guy who was a triathlete and he's like look your injuries are all fractures and he's like and you you might not ever feel exactly the same as you were before which I don't like I would still have a ton of pain but he's like you can start working out it's gonna hurt he's like but this is all pain tolerance when you're swimming with broken ribs it's like it, it, it absolutely hurts and it was terrible but you can still do it when you put your body through that stress it actually heals faster so immediately I think I think I I could barely get out of bed. I think Courtney had to literally lift me out of bed because it hurt so bad. Yeah. But then she's like looks away and I'm doing like wall squats and I was doing aqua jogging and I was going to a pool like a week later and it was just one of those things that in my head it was I was so motivated to get back to the fitness that I was and that I wasn't going to let this injury ruin like everything I had tried so hard for. for. So so I, I I ended up racing a half Ironman like maybe four or five weeks after I got really hurt. Oh it's insane. Oh my yeah. God. Um, no, but yeah, after my surgery, the number one thing they try and get you to do, and anyone who's been through surgery at a, a crazy injury probably knows this, is that the, the nurses, they try and get you to walk as much as possible. Yeah. As in like, I can barely move. Yeah. And they're trying to get you to walk and you're taking baby steps and oh. you just walk from here to over there. And they just want you to walk as much as possible because that's how your body recovers. If you don't walk, then it will lead to infection inside yeah. or whatever else. So yeah, you're supposed to move as yeah. much as possible. And when I recovered from my injuries, I remember I was just walking like an old man every single yeah. day as far as I could, no matter how painful it you was. You were totally yeah. an old man. You remember that, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> just an old man walking You were walking just like hunched over. I'm hunched over, yeah, because I can't move my, my stomach. It splits, you know, oh. if I... I sneezing was did you ever sneeze sneezing was the death of me because oh, that yeah. would like ah, yeah. it would oh. just like yeah. destroy my insides the ribs are just so yeah, you did a, a half movement. half iron man four weeks after yeah. you injured yourself yeah and it's you funny, got through it yeah it's funny when you look back at like things you're proud of like i'm not really proud of how fast i am or anything like that but i'm like <laughs> i'm more proud of yeah i'm like proud of how i recovered and yeah. like that was what was actually impressive yeah. to me not like and for everyone listening i think this is a really good uh lesson to touch upon that when you feel lazy to work out just remember that like you have your entire body intact and you can work out and you can move around as much as you want and challenge yourself. But imagine if you're injured, you're just going to be wishing that you could just move, oh, you know? Yeah. And like, I think I take a lot of inspiration from that, from whenever I get lazy, I'm like, my whole body's intact. Like, why am I not going to get up? You know, why am I not going to get out and move? That was one of the best things that happened to me in terms of just gratefulness and, and being able to learn from is after going through that experience, I definitely had a way greater appreciation of just being able to exercise and move because I always yeah. look back at that time when I didn't have the luxury of being able to go on a run or bike. We're always looking for the totally. silver lining of things. Uh, you can never wish, oh yeah, you know, like I'm glad that happened to me. It's, it's tough to say that when you go through traumatic stuff, but uh, there's always something beneficial you can get from that. And for me, it's exactly what you're talking yeah. about. I have a great appreciation for, for exercise. That, that used Movement. To, at the end of races, it used to be like, how, how it's all mental. Every sport I've ever played is mental. And then you're always trying to conquer that little fear in your head. But at the end of the race, when I'm feeling my most tired, it was like, I'm so thankful to be here. Like I, there was that moment where I didn't know if I was ever going to be the same, if I was ever going to recover. And it was like, I think back to that moment. And I, that was the worst feeling in the world to me. So, yeah. 